Yes, you're watching Essie's Empire. You're watching Essie's Empire. <laughs> Welcome back or welcome to my channel. This is Essie's Empire here. Today we have something new and I think I'm going to start a series in July and August and maybe the beginning of September because whether you believe it or not, school season is about to roll in soon. So I wanted to start a, a little segment on high school high school because i recently just graduated from high school and i wanted to share some advice and some tips on things that went well and didn't go well and so just some advice on high school life and i think i'm going to start on the um on the freshman part even though i don't remember much from my freshman year i still learned a lot and i think i still carry it from my freshman year till now so i want to give you some advice this will be part one and if this goes well i might just do a part two or i'll just do a part two for the heck of it but right now we're gonna start with freshman year and we'll see from there so like subscribe comment your opinions what you think of about this video just sharing my intake of how my high school life went and I'm gonna start with freshman year so text me any questions any concerns my email is on the screen and down in the description box below um, all my socials are down below as well you can find me anywhere if you don't want to contact me through the comments on my YouTube um, videos my socials are there the music I play Spotify on Spotify is also there um, we have Pinterest with all the interests I pin I pin also there and yada 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 twitter instagram whatever it's all there the bible app is also there you want to know what i read you want to know the comments i um comment on my bible app my bible link is down in the description box below all right, all right let's get on into this video the first thing that i want to say that i had to learn i mean I kind of didn't have to learn it because I kind of I kind of already had it in me. I kind of already already knew that yeah, this was something I had to do, regardless of if someone told me or not. Was to be myself. Yeah. So going into freshman year of high school, middle school, I had a bunch of friends, and I realized that in seventh and eighth grade, I was acting a little off, and I didn't like it. No one had to tell me that oh you're acting different it was just a part of me growing up and realizing girl this is not you this is not who you are so seventh and eighth grade mm -mm. i had the best time in seventh grade but it wasn't me being myself i did things and i said things and i acted some ways that yeah it wasn't me so coming into high school it was a new slate I started fresh. I wanted to be myself, so I was myself. I didn't copy anyone. I didn't try to be someone I was not. I didn't want to, you know, act like a popular person so everyone loved me. Just did. I just did my own thing and went my own way and minded my own business. And here I am today. I feel fine. I feel refreshed. Every day you're growing, and every day you're you're experiencing something new. But I just knew that I had to stay on top of things and be myself. So the first and the main goal that I want you guys to keep throughout high school is to be yourself. If you have just one friend, if you don't have any friends, just be yourself. The, that, that specific friend, that perfect friend will come for you. I promise you. So don't try to be someone you're not. Don't try to be stuck up. Don't try to, don't try to like, just be yourself honest in all honesty just be yourself whether you think you're weird whether people think you're weird or you're snobby or you're whatever be yourself and it, it, it works out in the end it always does i promise you it oh trust me just be yourself because it will work out in the end 
okay to be different. You really don't have to be like everyone else. Be your own you. Be someone that you can be proud of. Don't be someone that everyone else likes. It's it, it's not worth it. It's not even... It, it won't even settle nice in you. Just be yourself. It's okay to be different. Because when you're different, you stand out in your own way. And it always works out in the end. It always... No, guys, you don't get it. You don't get it. It always works out in the end. Be yourself. Do your own thing. Know yourself. This all. This is all in one category. Know yourself. Know who you are. Don't let someone tempt you to doing something that you don't. Or peer pressure. Don't let someone pressure you into doing something you don't want to do. Into um, acting a certain way. Know yourself. Know what you can do and what you cannot do. Know yourself. Don't let someone bring you down for something they do better than you or whatever. Know yourself. Know your limits. Don't be pressured into doing something that you cannot do. do don't force it. Don't force it. Be yourself. That's, like, that's so important. People don't understand. Peer pressure is real. Even though sometimes I face it, like, for many situations, the big situations people go through, and I hear stories all the time, Sometimes it really doesn't end well. If it's for a good cause, if it's in the end you see it's a positive effect on your life, okay, take it. But some prayer pressures, you gotta be careful. You really do have to be careful. It's okay to make new friends. I think this is my second category. It's okay to make friends, guys. New friends, it's fine. The bestest of the bestest of the bestest friend you had in middle school and elementary school. Oh, since you were babies. Length of a friendship is not important as the quality. Quality over quantity. Quality. The quantity does not matter. The length of the friendship does not matter. You thought you had the bestest friend in elementary and you guys are, are growing up together and all that. Something major could happen and you guys could not be best friends anymore. That's fine. Make new friends. There's a millions and millions of people in the world, and there's thousands of people in your city, and there's hundreds of people in your school. Make new friends. They can be younger than you. They can be older than you. It's fine. Make new friends. Discover new talents. You can discover new things through your new friends, new talents, new abilities you thought you could never, like, have. You can discover through your friends. Friendship, if you can't feel the connection, if you can't feel the uh, the friendship anymore, the authentic friendship anymore, cut it off. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. If, if it's meant to be, you guys will come back together as friends. If it's not, it's fine. Move on. Find someone that that will fit the friendship um, qualities or whatever the friendship list for you. Find someone else. It's not the end of the world. You don't need a best friend. I don't have a best friend. I just have nice close friends that I stick with. It's fine. It all works out the end. God is your best friend. How about that? God is your best friend. He's all you need. He's all you need in this life. Come on now. Negative toxic people, cut them out. Cut them out. Cut them out. Why why would you keep continuing a friendship that is you know is toxic and you know is not go doing good in your life? It's just bringing they they bring you down. They don't make you feel worth it. Cut them out. This is elementary stuff. You know, guys. Cut the friendship out. If it's not benefiting you, if it's not for you, cut it out. And if you're confused, find some help. If you don't know if the friend is good for you, Ask help from God. If, if you think you don't have the connection with God, ask someone you trust to help you out in finding the right friend for you. Ask a guardian. Ask a parent. Ask, I don't know, ask a, a stranger. Maybe they know the answer. I don't know. But if the toxic friendship continues in your life, you will see that things are not going well in your life because of that one friend or because of that group of friends. So find the correct person for your life please don't ruin your life because of a friend please do not toxic friends they need to go guys and if you think you're the toxic friend change your lifestyle you got you got to change your lifestyle that's pretty much it just change it if you think you're not bringing positivity you're not you know bringing light on people's life try to change that because 
the the things you say and the acts you do do impact people. The um, actions you take towards someone's life they they can impact someone negatively and also positively. So be careful. Be careful if you're a toxic friend. Change that. Don't be embarrassed though, cause we all go through it. I can. I'm probably a toxic friend and I don't know it, but I'm changing. I'm trying. I'm trying. So try to change as well. If you don't know your toxic friend, pray about it. So, because we're all trying to learn and grow and grow together. That's probably my mantra for this, for this channel. Grow, glow, and learn together. That's it. Learn, grow, and glow. If you if you think you're the toxic friend, help yourself. Find some help. Try to change. Pray to God if you if you want to try to change because the actions you take can affect someone. And you might just not know it until it's too late. All right. Another part of this is find find people that are willing to support you to the end. It doesn't matter if it's the dumbest thing you've ever thought of doing. As long as you find people that are willing to support you and, will, and are willing to uplift you through it all. That's all you need. They don't even have to be your friend. They can be associates. They can be um, just a neighbor. Just find people, positive people in your life. Bring them in. Let them support you. And you have to support them. It goes both ways. You support them and they have to support you. Just find positive people to uplift you. Like like I'm saying, like the, the toxic friends and the toxic things around you, they do affect you and your mood and your anxiety and your depression and all that. It, it affects you and you just don't know it. So try to find positive people that will uplift you every day. If not every day, most of the time. Find people really does go a long way. You just don't know it, but it does. It does. I know for a fact. If you're listening, it does. Please. Your dreams. You need people that will anchor your dreams and help it come true. Find those people. Pray for those people. Pray for those helpers that will come. Destiny helpers. Pray for them so they can help your dreams and your career and your goals come true. Find those positive people. Not the people that will bring you down and the people that will um, make sure your plans don't go well. Be careful and keep an open eye because there are people out there that try to stop your dreams from coming to life or try to bring you down. Be careful. Be careful. Find the people that are beneficial for your life. They're out there. You just have to keep looking. Don't force it. Don't rush it. Just patiently keep looking. And if you can't end up, if you don't end up finding um, a positive person for some odd reason, which I doubt it, because you're not looking well. But if you can't find the right people, be that person for yourself. And be that person for others. Find people that are, are trying to start up something and trying to build up businesses and trying to build up um, projects for anything. It can be about a gaming system or find someone that is passionate about something and help them out. Be that person for them. Be that positive aspect in their life for them. If you can't for some reason find someone to be a positive aspect into your life, be that person for someone else. Um, it's okay to make new friends, as I was saying, because you really... You just be nice to everyone. Be like those people you meet around in school. Just be nice with them. Like it doesn't matter because you never know their future. Hey, life is tricky. The kid that you bully now can be the most popular person in the world, the the richest guy in the world. And you go for that. You go to them for help, and they remember that you bullied them. I know that would hurt. Karma is a... Hmm. Karma is there. So be careful. All I have to say is just be friendly. Don't ignore people. Be friendly. Because the, the the shy kids and this, you know, those kids that you ignore now, they can be great. Don't ignore people. Be nice to everyone. Everyone you see, try to smile to them. Try to approach new people every day. Or approach new people every month if you're not a friendly person. I get there's friendly people out there, but try, just try, because you never know what relationships or what connections that, that may bring in the future. You might need someone else so bad, but the way you treated them in high school, people are petty. I, 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 I'm, I'm one of them. I can be petty too. 
people are petty so be careful just be careful of how you act what you do what you say towards people because it, it will affect them in high school freshman year get involved get involved do some try try new things but try to find something that you're good at or something you want to do and try to try just try if you can it's fine but try to stay committed to that um through those four years of your high school because when you're starting to apply for college they look for commitment they look to see if you are really about that and you're not just applying things onto your application try to stay committed to a few things don't go around apply um finding things to do just because it will make you look good on your on your college application find a few things that you are really into that you really find important and you really find um happy you find yourself happy in them and stay in them and stay committed to them even find some leadership skills volunteering do some work do something don't just sit down like a potato couch potato in your house for all four years of um, your high school career find something to do after school stay active something you will find in your freshman of um, your freshman year of high school may even carry out to be something you're into in your um, college career and for the rest of your life because I feel like the things I did in high school are actually opening up um, career paths for me. I think I found where I want to go in life, and it was through the act activities and the things I I involved myself in in high school. So it's important to find something you want, even if you don't want to um, do anything after school or do anything in school. Find something out of school that you want to learn to do or you want to learn more about and involve yourself in it because it, it will help you in the long run guys drama let's 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 leave that in in middle school the drama is not it's trust and believe it's not cute grow up drama is it really isn't it if you have like some small thing resolve it and move on it's very it's very um you, how should i say entertaining <laughs> To watch drama and to hear about the drama but don't be that person in the drama situation grow up guys because this drama thing let's let's cut it out let's let's cut it out all right mind your business try to succeed in life don't don't bring attention don't bring negative attention to yourself it really doesn't help because then when you're leaving school they will remember you for this people will remember you for that even though maybe you might not care what people say about you it, it sometimes it does affect you because you may be going into an interview when you grow up and someone remembers you from high school and they're like oh yeah i remember this person she did or he did so and so and this this and that in high school and they and they might bring a bad black sheet on you and that may actually affect you from getting a position or a job or an interview or whatever some small petty thing could be a big thing later on and just because someone decided to spread some little tinsy thing about you in high school to your future whatever is your future interviews and stuff that may affect you from getting the job sad to say i know it's it was high school but some people take it as a big deal so just keep that in mind. Just, guys, I promise to you I'll make a part two because I think I enjoy this series. I'm, I love it giving advice. I usually like giving it in person, but I guess YouTube is the wave now, so we're going to give advice on YouTube. But like, subscribe, share this video to incoming freshmen that are going into high school, and I promise to make a part two of more in-depth things that go on in high school and stuff because this was like... This was kind of like the social part. If you have any questions, try to contact me so I can add them into the video through email, through my DMs or anything. If you don't want to comment down below, that's totally fine. You can find me on my socials. The links are all in the description box below. And yeah, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you know 
when I post and you're the first one, first one to like, comment, share, or whatever, you're the first one to watch my videos. Alright? What does this say? Yes. Join the rest of the empire as we learn, grow, glow as kings and queens for God's glory. Join us. Subri subscribe to the uh, the channel to join SC's empire and your life will never be the same. Thanks guys so much for watching this video. Love you guys so much and I'll see you for the next video. It's probably going to be part two. We're doing this all throughout July and August and maybe September. So stay tuned. Love you. Hey!